In this video, we are going to talk about possible errors in the trial balance which may not be visible, which may not be detected. The total of the trial balance, uh, debit side on the trial balance and credit side on the trial balance may be equal, but there may still be some issues which may not be detected by just the total of the trial balance. So here are four types of errors which may not be detected, uh, which may uh, not uh, be figured out through the uh, trial balance. So uh, the first one is error of omission. Let's look at these one by one. Error of omission means that you do not you do not record a journal entry. Do you, you do not record a transaction. Now recording a transaction is done in the journal and then in the next step the entry is posted in the ledger. So let us say a transaction uh, you know took place. The transaction was that there was a sale worth 100 and we forgot to record this transaction in the journal. So this is the first kind of mistake. We did not post it, uh, write the journal entry. Well, if you don't write the journal entry, this is not going to you know, be visible in the ledger and hence not going to go to the trial balance. But trial balance only works on the principle of debits being equal to credit. There will be other account balances and debit is going to be equal to credit. So if you have missed a transaction, you know, you can't figure it out from the trial balance. That's number one. Second uh, possibility could be you uh, wrote the transaction in the journal, but you forgot to post the transaction into ledger. So you wrote the journal entry, which was cash account debit to sales account 100 and 100. But when you prepared the ledger account, you did not post the journal entry into cash account or into uh, the sales account. So you forgot both the uh, accounts. When you do not post the journal entry in any of the accounts, the trial balance is still going to be equal. The debit side is going to be equal to credit side because it's not going to affect any of these accounts. So debits are going to be equal to credits. So uh, this is how uh, when you forget to enter a transaction in journal, or post that transaction from journal to ledger, uh, you know, such errors are not going to be detectable uh, by the total of the uh, trial balance. Then is error of commission. Error of commission means, you know, you write an incorrect, uh, incorrect uh, number, incorrect amount. There can be certain errors of, uh, 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 you know, commissions. For example, the sale was uh, 110. So the journal entry should have been again the an error could be at any of these two steps journal or ledger. The journal entry should have been cash account debit to sales 110. Instead what you ended up doing let's say was that you instead of 110 you wrote uh, 101, 101. That is a clerical mistake that anybody could do while typing in or while you know writing. So what is going to happen is in the cash account you are going to carry 101 and also in the sales account you are going to carry 101. Both the accounts are going to be affected by the same amount. Cash account is going to have a debit balance and sales account is going to have a credit balance. So both the accounts will still have equal amount therefore the total of the trial balance will be equal of debit and credit sides but there will be still an error, error which cannot be detected in the trial balance. So this is uh, you know, another type of error, error of commission, a clerical error uh, which is also uh, uh, not detectable. Then there could be compensatory errors, which means there are, uh, there are two errors, at least two errors. So let's say error 1 and there could be another error, error 2. So these two errors uh, are committed in such a way that one uh, writes off the effect of the other. One compensates the effect of the other error. Let us say there was a sale of, uh, let's say sale of 100, which was recorded as uh, 1000. And there was another sale, which was 1000, and it was recorded as 100. So in the first case, 
you are going to write cash account debit to sale and you by mistake write 1000 instead of 100 and in this case cash uh, 100 to sale 1000 written as 100. So eventually what is going to happen is in the trial balance on the debit side the debit total is going to be uh, you know 1100 the credit total is going to be 1100 as well. Uh, but the mistake is that this transaction should be written here, this transaction should be written here. But the trial balance total is going to be equal, so you will not be able to detect this mistake either in the trial balance. And finally, there could be an error of principle, which means, uh, let us say, you purchase an asset, purchase of building. The journal entry for this should have been building account debit to bank account and amount 1000. So what this would have done is on the debit and credit sides, building balance would have gone on the debit side of the trial balance and this bank account would have reduced the balance on the uh, uh, from the bank balance uh, in the debit side. So the trial balance would not have been affected. So what what you have actually written, the journal entry that has, in, has been actually done is that uh, you've written purchase account instead. So you write purchase account debit. This is error of principle. The principle is you purchase an asset, you should uh, write the amount in the asset account. However, it can be confused with purchase of goods. So I'm using that here. So instead of the building account, you have purchase account, which has been used by mistake. Amount is same, no mistake in the amount. Purchase also has a debit balance. So, uh, and the bank account is going to have the same, same minus uh, 1000, same effect. So there is no mistake there. So there is only one mistake, but that mistake is of such nature that the trial balance is not getting affected. The same impact on the debit and credit totals is happening through uh, any of uh, these transactions, this or this. So this is an error of principle. So the idea is that, you know, trial balance, although is called as a proof of the double entry system, however, uh, it is also possible that there are some errors uh, which are not detectable, which are not seen in the trial balance. So Although you can prove the arithmetic accuracy, however, there are some mistakes which are going to be left. So we have to be careful about uh, those mistakes is, is all what I wanted to communicate to you.